Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news that's back to work with things looking a little brighter. In equity and financial markets, risk sentiment has improved on the basis that the US and China are now expected by traders to patch things up soon. The S&P 500 was up a strong 1.3% on Friday, and that followed European indexes, which were up more than 2%. In turn, Tokyo, Hong Kong and Shanghai all gained more than 1.2%. Helping somewhat were remarks by the head of the New York Fed, who said now is a time for policymakers to show prudence, patience and good judgment, interpreted to mean fewer rate hikes in 2019. But there is no progress on resolving the shutdown with an, another Fed governor saying it is starting to hurt growth. And perhaps supporting that restrained view is the American consumer sentiment tumbled in early January to its lowest level in more than two years amid fears that the shutdown and financial market volatility will slow the US economy. In December, American factory production rose amid broad-based gains in output. Canada's inflation rate rose to 2% in December, higher than the expectations of 1.7%. And in Vancouver, there is a new campaign underway to scrap its speculation and vacancy tax, one that now requires declarations from 1.6 million homeowners and takes about 30 minutes to complete. A government coalition party, the Green Party, is pushing to get rid of what they call the stupid tax. In Hong Kong, house prices are falling. And later today, China is expected to report its fourth quarter 2018 GDP growth rate, a level that is expected to undershoot its 6.4%. And at that level, it will be their slowest growth in 28 years. In Japan, there is a ministerial meeting of 11 TPP members. They have decided to open the treaty up to new members, and they are essentially trying to entice the US back, but others may join first. And analysts at Fitch Ratings say a series of recent weak data releases have dented their 2019 world trade growth forecast, but not significantly. They are still forecasting that 2019 growth will be above trend, with the US and China doing OK, although Europe will be weak. New Zealand wholesale interest rates rose at the end of last week following four days of declines to record low territory, and the rises took rates back to where they were at the start of the week. The US Treasury 10-year yield also rose on Friday, and now at 2.79% and a 10 basis points gain for the week, most of it on Friday. Their 2.10 curve has settled in at 17 basis points. Gold is down $10 to $1,282 an ounce, and US oil prices moved up strongly higher, and are now just on $54 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is just under $63 a barrel. Both are gains of more than $1 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar will start today a little softer from where we left it on Friday at 67.3 US cents, but which is almost one cent loss on, from this time last week. On the cross rates, we're a little softer too at 94.1 Aussie cents, but little change at 59.3 euro cents. That pulls the TWI down to 71.7. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.